Hello, I hope you got a chance to watch our first monthly short film which came out last week. Chris, don't. Chris? Chris? Oh, no. Ah! No, no, no. And this is the very first behind the scenes video where I'm going to talk about some of the challenges making these sort of films, maybe dive into some of the special effects and just try and give you a general backstage feel. So please enjoy the behind the scenes video for The Redemption Act. Twelve two. Take two. So the first real challenge here was um, how do we take this uh, derelict room and make it look like a future prison cell, uh, knowing that we have no budget and no time to do it. So what we did was we set up a few lights and basically used a smoke machine to give some atmosphere and made the most of the actual darkness to make it look uh, like a prison cell. It was all about the lighting and how we could do a lot with not much. And of course we only had one bed, so we had to figure out how to make it look like he was in a room with two other prisoners. So what we did was play around with some of the camera angles to make it look like he wasn't alone. Or on one specific shot, we actually moved the bed around into three different places and had Peter, um, who was on set with us, lie in two of the beds and then composed the shot together to make it look like he was waking up in a room with two other prisoners in. Of course, the hardest challenge on this day was it was so cold, it was freezing. Um, so we just had to focus on what we were doing and get through the day as fast as possible. But at the end, it gave us some pretty cool effects. <coughs> and of course, the last thing we needed for the scene was what was actually going on on the little video screen that comes up. And uh, for that, we shot with Heather on a green screen a few days later and then simply uh, composed it onto the video screen. Please choose between one of the following two options and someone will be with you shortly. One, three, take two. And action. Now this shoot was much more comfortable. We were in a flat, it was nice and warm. The main challenge was we needed to do multiple versions of the scene so we could then do this time loop that would stay fresh and different every time. So what we did was rehearse over and over until we got it right and then we could then shoot the whole thing from different angles over and over again until we had everything we needed. And of course the actors uh, were fantastic. The last thing on the day was of course Chris hitting his girlfriend's lover with the wine bottle. We thought about a plastic wine bottle or maybe something like that, but in the end we just decided to do it with smart camera angles and special effects. So on one version we just had Wyatt pretend to hit Rob over the head with the wine bottle and and we just added in the sort of shape of a wine bottle in post-production. And for the other shot where you actually see him hitting him, we just filmed Wyatt hitting thin air, and then Rob in front of his green screen reacting, composed the shots together, added a sound effect, and it worked out pretty well. Chris! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Chris leaving after not killing Michael Dick 3. And the last day of shooting was quite a fun day because um, we were all over the place. This is where we shot the scene at the florist, who was kind enough to lend us her shop for about 20 minutes. We also used some smoke, uh, some canned smoke in there to make it just look a bit more gloomy. Shall I put a little gift tag on this for you? Birthday, anniversary? I don't know, I'm going to surprise my girlfriend. And then we were off to the building to shoot the outdoor scenes and this was my first time ever using my new three-axis gimbal, the DJI Ronin, which allowed us to get this long steady shot of Chris walking up to the building and then knocking on the door. Hey Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> and this is Lloyd's cameo with his cat Percy, who did a fantastic job. And then of course there's a special effect uh, at the end when the world sort of disappears around him. And for this, once I'd figured out exactly what style I was going for, it was just a simple case of 3D tracking the scene, doing a little of rotoscoping to cut out Chris from the rest and then just add in some bleeding ink and compose it all together to look like this. So that was a wrap on the Redemption Act. So then all I needed to do was um, edit the film together and take care of sound, for which I did quite a lot of um, foley, what we call foley recording, which is 
recording sounds to then add back in to give the product an overall quality. And the fun thing about this project is that I actually came up with the idea and wrote it almost five years ago now. So seeing it all come together and actually being able to watch the film for the first time was uh, pretty amazing. So I hope you like this first behind the scenes video. Uh, we're going to be making one every month for every film that comes out. If you enjoyed them, please consider subscribing to the channel and I can't wait to show you the next film. Until then, see you soon.